Hare Krishna Prabhu. Dandavat Pranams, over to you. Hare Krishna Prabhu. Hare Krishna. Om Namo Bhagavate Vasudevaya. Om Namo Bhagavate Vasudevaya. Om Namo Bhagavate Vasudevaya. Om Agnana Timirangasya Gnana Anjana Shalakaya Chakshurun Militam Yena Tasmai Shri Gurave Namah Nama Om Vishnu Padaya Krishna Prashtaya Bhutale Shri Mate Bhakti Vedanta Swamin Itinamini Namaste Saraswati Devi Gauravani Pracharini Nirvisesha Sunyavadi Paschatya Deshatarini Jai Sri Krishna Chaitanya Prabhonityananda Sri Advaita Gadadhara Sri Vasadi Gaura Bhakta Vrinda Hare Krishna Hare Krishna 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 Hare 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 Rama Hare Rama 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 Hare 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 Krishna. I welcome all the devotees for this Sunday Bhagavatam class. Today I was asked to speak on this topic of keeping Krishna in the center, specifically with the example of the gopis of Vrindavan. Actually, spiritual life means to always keep Krishna in the center. That's what spiritual life is, to keep God as the center of all our activities. What does it mean to keep God in the center? In Vrindavan, uh, when Krishna goes out to the forest, to the pasturing grounds, along with the cows and the calves and the gopas, uh, they all eat their meals, their lunch, on the banks of Ganga. There they keep Krishna in the center. All the gopas would surround Krishna. They form circles, the sitting circles, several concentric circles, and they keep Krishna in the center. And that's how they eat their meals, their lunch. So, is this keeping Krishna in the center? Yeah, of course. <laughs> Literally, they are keeping Krishna in the center while accepting their meals. So, they kept Krishna in the middle. Krishna is like the whirl of a lotus, while all the other gopas are like, uh, who are sitting in concentric circles, are like petals of the lotus. Hundreds and thousands of petals are there in this lotus. There are so many circles of the gopas. So, they are all keeping Krishna in the center and accepting their meals. Uh, and at some point, uh, Brahma comes there and steals the calves of the gopas. Then the gopas become very, very uh, scared, afraid, uh, and uh, confused, worried, anxious. We were thinking, where are our calves? Where are our calves? We just tied them here only. Uh, we just allowed them to eat grasses here only, and then suddenly they disappeared. They did not know that Brahma has stolen it. So Krishna was still taking prasad at that time. He just got up from the middle of the circle and said, my dear friends, please do not interrupt your lunch. Continue to enjoy your meals. I will go and search for the calves. You sit here. So, till then, all the gopas kept Krishna in the center and having their prasad and then they were feeding Krishna. Uh, they were uh, being fed by Krishna. They were very happily enjoying their lunch. Uh, but suddenly when this calamity came, Krishna just stood up and said, I will protect you. I will help you. You continue your lunch. So the community or the group of devotees who keep Krishna in the center of their lives will receive all protection and affection from Krishna. Okay. 
so the gopa has not only kept krishna in the center of their circles in terms of seating arrangement they also kept krishna as the center of all their activities so keeping krishna in the center is not just uh, making a circle and putting krishna as the center of that circle physically but we need to keep krishna as the center of our lives how by respecting the teachings of krishna by acting according to the instructions given by krishna in the bhagavad gita and shrimad bhagavatam by molding our life in such a way that we align with krishna's will and not deviate from krishna's will okay krishna said in bhagavad gita अनन्यास चिंतयन्तो माम येजना परयुपासते तेषां नित्याभियुक्तानां योगक्षेमं वहम् यहम् कृष्ण सेड दैट वन हु ऑलवेज रिमेंबर्स मी एंड डेडिकेट्स वन सेल्फ टू मी सच अ पर्सन रिसीव्स ऑल प्रोटेक्शन फ्रॉम मी आई रिसिप्रोकेट विद देयर डिवोशन Uh, by protecting them from all kinds of calamities and yoga kshemam bahamyaham i preserve what they have and i supply what they lack so krishna said this in bhagavad gita for that we need to be ananyas chintayanto mam we need to be dedicated to krishna without any deviation in our minds right so when we keep krishna's teachings in the center when we keep keep krishna's uh, worship in the center when we keep krishna katha and krishna kirtan in the center uh, when we align our uh, body mind and words with uh, the teachings of krishna the instructions given by krishna that's what keeping in keeping krishna in the center means right and uh, the vrajavasis all the gopas or the gopis all the residents of vrindavan are best examples of this principle of keeping krishna in the center right we have great role models to look up to in our lives so we can have a wonderful inspiration uh, to keep krishna in the center by seeing the examples of all these gopas and gopis mm-hmm. so uh, the dwaraka vasis they say in the first canto of bhagavatam भवाय नस्वं भव विश्व भावना त्वमेव माता त सुहृत पति पिता त्वम सद्गुरुर्न परमं च दैवतम यस्यान वृत्या कृतिनो अवभूमिमा द द्वारका वशि सर सेइंग दैट भवाय नस्वं भव विश्व भावना ओ लॉर्ड यू आर द क्रिएटर ऑफ द एंटायर यूनिवर्स त्वमेव माता त सुहृत पति पिता यू आर आवर मदर यू आर आवर फादर यू आर आवर Uh, master uh, you are our guru teacher you are everything paramam cha daivatam you are our worshipable deity yesya anuvrtya krutino bhuvima only by following your teachings only by following your footsteps only by molding our life according to your injunctions yesya anuvrtya krutino bhuvima we will um, attain any success right so any success or happiness or satisfaction is attained only by worshiping krishna only by keeping krishna in the center only by acting as an instrument in krishna's hands for example krishna says in the bhagavad gita machitta madgata prana bodhayantah parasparam kathayantasya vam nityam tushyanti charamanti cha devotees are those people who constantly discuss about krishna amongst themselves in their personal conversations with other devotees they glorify krishna's naam or rupa guna leela in this way tushyanti cha ramanti cha in this way he uh, the devotees uh, enjoy the bliss of krishna consciousness with great satisfaction of heart tushyanti cha ramanti cha when we discuss hari katha with great happiness and satisfaction and commitment then uh, that kind of krishna katha centered life is what krishna centered life means 
So unless we discuss about Krishna, how can we keep, keep Krishna in the center? Unless we serve Krishna, how can we keep Krishna in the center? Unless we chant the holy names of Krishna and perform Harinam Sankirtan, how can we keep Krishna in the center? How, unless we serve the deity form of Krishna and serve the devotees of Krishna, how is it possible to keep Krishna in the center? Basically, to keep Krishna in the center means to dedicate to the path of Bhakti Yoga. Uh, as Krishna said in the Bhagavad Gita, Sarvadharman parityajya mamekam sharanam raja aham tvam sarva pape bhyo mokshaishya mimasuchaha. I will protect you from all kinds of sinful reactions. You just keep aside all the kinds of duties that you have concocted. You just depend on me. Take my shelter alone. Completely surrender unto me. Maamekam sharanam raja. So that's what uh, keeping Krishna in the center means. And this is the predominant teaching of Bhagavad Gita, Srimad Bhagavatam and Sri Chaitanya Charitamrita. Uh, although somebody is following the principles of different varnas and different ashramas, pleasing Krishna, pleasing Lord Hari, keeping Hari in the center is the purpose of all this varna and ashram. Uh, as Bhagavatam says, Atahapum Bhairdvijasreshta Varna Ashrama Vibhagashaha Svarushthitasya Dharmasya Samsidhir Haritoshanam there are so many rules and regulations of different varnas and different ashramas. Okay. But the, the purpose of all this is samsidhir haritoshanam. To please Lord Hari is the purpose of all the rules and regulations of varna and ashrama. If you just stick to the principles of different varnas and principles of different ashramas without keeping samsiddhir haritoshanam in the center, Bhagavatam also says it is just shramayeva hi kevalam. Okay. Yes, definitely. By aligning oneself to the principles of varna and ashrama, we get some benefit, definitely. That's a very wonderful organization of human society. But ultimately, the purpose of all this is to keep Krishna in the center, to mold our activities to please Lord Hari. Okay, because we are meant to uh, be the parts and parcels of Krishna. Mama Ivam Shoji Valoke Jeeva Bhutaha Sanatanaha means all the living beings are amshas of Krishna. Therefore, we are meant to be prioritizing Krishna's service. Prabhupada gives the simple example. Just like bodily parts are like amshas of the entire body. The whole body is there and the individual bodily part is there. So this finger is a part of the body. This finger is supposed to serve the whole body. Then only the finger uh, will also be nourished. Right? Just like uh, if all the bodily limbs go on strike, the hands and the legs and the eyes and the um, uh, uh, and other senses go on strike and they don't feed the belly, then how can the entire body function. So, if the hands and legs of the body go on strike and if they don't feed the belly, thinking that, oh, belly is just happily enjoying life and we are doing all hard work, hands are walking, sorry, legs are walking, hands are working, eyes are seeing, nose is smelling, ears are hearing and so much work the senses are doing and stomach is just sitting there and accepting all the food. <laughs> So, if all the bodily uh, parts go on strike, uh, will uh, the body be nourished? Yes, the belly is meant to sit there and accept all the food and process the food and give nourishment and strength to all bodily limbs. Uh, but if the bodily limbs go on strike and they don't uh, feed the belly, they will weak, they'll become weak only. So, just like we water the root of a tree, so that all the branches and the leaves and the twigs and the flowers and the fruits of the tree are completely nourished. Similarly, we should feed the belly 
so that the body will limbs are nourished we cannot take uh, uh, our food and apply that food or smear that food on the hands and legs so that hands and legs become strong uh -huh. we need to uh, put the food in the belly then the hands and legs will become strong similarly we need to feed the lord we need to serve the lord we need to be conscious of the lord the shloka that i was saying some time back macchitta madgata prana bodhayanta parasparam kathayanta samamityam tushyanti cha ramanti cha macchitta madgata prana means devotees have completely dedicated their lives to krishna and just like a fish which is kept out of water cannot survive without water similarly a living being who is outside the process of devotional service or the path of bhakti yoga or krishna consciousness also cannot be happy so no amount of material facilities can make a fish happy when you keep the fish outside water similarly no amount of material facilities can satisfy the heart of a devotee if the devotee is not serving krishna so to mold our lives activities in such a way that we always find ourselves in the service of krishna and hear krishna katha hear krishna snama rupa guna lila that's the perfection of life right so we are actually servants of krishna we are not anything else as lord chaitanya mahaprabhu says na ham vipro anachana rapater na pi vaishyo na sudro na ham varani na chagrahapater no vanastho yatirva kintu prodyan nikhila paramananda purna amrutabher gopi bhartu pad kamal yor dasa dasa anudasa mahaprabhu says i am not a brahmana or a kshatriya or a vaishya or a sudra i am not a brahmachari or grahastha or vanaprastha or sanyasi who am i i am servant of the servant of the servant of the lotus feet of lord krishna who is the maintainer of gopis so we are servants of krishna we are meant to be keeping krishna in the center and act as krishna's instruments all the gopis are constantly thinking about krishna and gopis are the highest example of those people who have kept krishna in the center of their lives so whatever they are being they think about krishna they are krishna conscious yado hane vahane mathano pale pa prem kankhanar bharuti to kshana marjana do gayanti chaina manurakta dhiyo shrukankyo dhanya vrajastriya urukrama chittayana yado hane while well, they are milking the cows vahanani while well, they are threshing grains mathana while well, they are churning buttermilk upalepa while well, they are smearing kaudang uh, on their walls or on their floors prankankhana while well, they are swinging on swings or bharudita when they are taking care of their crying babies ukshana when they are sprinkling water mixed with kaudang in their courtyards marjanado or when they are cleaning the they when they are sweeping the floors of rajabhumi whatever they are doing simple household activities gayanti chaina manurakt dhiyo shrukanthyo dhanya vrajastriya urukrama chittayana they are constantly singing the glories of krishna urukrama chittayana their heart their mind is constantly hovering around the thoughts of krishna so this is to keep krishna in the center urukrama chittayana whatever we may do as a part of maintaining ourselves in this material world let us not deviate from the thought of krishna let us always dedicate our body mind and words to the service of krishna kayena vacha manase indriyairva buddhyatmana va prakrte swabhava karomi yadyat sakalam parasmai narayana yeti samarpayami kayena vacha manasa indriyairva whatever i do with body mind words and senses ಬುದ್ಧ್ಯಾತ್ಮನಾ ಪ್ರಕೃತಿ ಸ್ವಭಾವ ಐ ಎಕ್ಸಿಕ್ಯೂಟ್ ವಿತ್ ಮೈ ನೇಚರ್ ವಿತ್ ಮೈ ಬುದ್ಧಿ ಇಂಟೆಲಿಜೆನ್ಸ್ ಕರೋಮಿ ಯದ್ಯತ್ ಸಕಲಂ ಪರಸ್ಮೈ ನಾರಾಯಣ ಸಮರ್ಪಯಾಮಿ ಐ ಡೂ ಎವ್ರಿಥಿಂಗ್ ಟು ಪ್ಲೀಸ್ ಲಾಡ್ ನಾರಾಯಣ ನಾರಾಯಣ ಏತಿ ಸಮರ್ಪಯಾಮಿ ಇಫ್ ದಟ್ ಈಸ್ ನಾಟ್ ದೇರ್ ವಾಟ್ ಎವರ್ ವಿ ಡೂ ಟು ಜಸ್ಟ್ ಬಿ ಶ್ರಮ ಏವ ಹಿ ಕೇವಲ್ 
But if you are doing everything that we are doing only to please Lord Hari, that's the best way of living life. And in reciprocation with such devotees who are always doing things just to please Lord Hari, Krishna takes up even menial roles. All the Pandavas kept Krishna in the center of their lives and whatever they are doing is only to please Lord Krishna. So Krishna acted as their chariot driver and many other services Krishna has done. Bhagavatam first canto describes Sarathya Parishada Sevana Sakya Tautya Virasana Nugamana Stavana Pranama Snigdhe Shupandushu Jagat Pranatim Chavishno or Bhaktim Karotin Rupatis Charana Ravindi Sarathya Parishada Sevana Sakya Tautya As a Sarathi, Krishna was driving the chariot of Arjuna. Parishada, he is also receiving Agrapuja from Rajasya sacrifice. Sevana, doing so many services. Sakya as a friend, Dautya as a messenger, Virasana as a night watchman, Anugamana, following their footsteps, Stavana, praising them, Pranama and offering obeisances to his elder cousins like Yudhishthira and Bhima. So many things Krishna is doing in relationship with the Pandavas and why? Snigdheshu Pandushu Jagat Pranatim Chavishnur. Although Krishna is the Supreme Personality of Godhead, who is the expansion of unlimited Vishnu Murtis, still Snigdheshu Pandushu. Because the Pandavas are malleable to the will of Krishna, Krishna acted as a humble servant of the Pandavas. So, this is the result of acting as an instrument in Krishna's hands. All the Pandavas kept themselves as instruments in Krishna's hands uh, and they kept Krishna as the center of their lives and thus they received such reciprocation from Krishna. So, Krishna orchestrated everything in the lives of Pandavas. Apparently, Pandavas underwent a lot of difficulties also. But still, Krishna is always there with the Pandavas, for the Pandavas, throughout their difficulties. Ultimately, because Krishna is the center of Pandavas' lives, Krishna is always uh, wandering around the Pandavas, supporting the Pandavas, thinking of Pandavas, serving and protecting the Pandavas in hundred different ways because they are just malleable by the will of Krishna. They are dedicated to the service of Krishna. They kept Krishna in the center of their lives. Whatever they do, they think whether it pleases Krishna or not. That's what they, they think. Okay. So this word instrument, acting as an instrument in, of Krishna is somewhat similar to keeping Krishna in the center of their lives. Okay. Uh, so what this word instrument comes in the Bhagavad Gita. So what was that? Tasmatma bhuktishta yeshola bhasva jitva shetron bhungshvarajyam samruddham Krishna said in Bhagavad Gita that get up, oh dear uh, Arjuna. Tasmatva muttishta. Uttishta means you get up. Yashwala bhaswa. Gain uh, fame. Okay, you, you become famous for killing the Kauravas. Yashwala bhaswa. Jitva shitrun. Conquer your enemies. Bhungshwa rajyam samruddham. You enjoy uh, a prosperous kingdom. Mayaivai te nihata purva veva. By me, all these people like Bhishma, Drona, Karna, Shokani, Duryodhan, Vishwas, and all these people have already been uh, killed. Then what am I supposed to do? You manifest their death. I have already killed them. You manifest their death. In the Kala Rupa, in the form of time, Krishna exhibited a very gigantic form. In front of Arjuna, he had hundreds and thousands of faces. And from those faces, fire is emanating. And all these people like Bhishma, Drona, Sakuni, Karna, Duryodhana, Vishwas, and they're entering into the mouths of this Kala Rupa, the form of time. And uh, Arjuna became very bewildered and said, My dear Lord, who are you? What is your mission? Then Krishna said, Kalosmi loka kshayatrit pravridho. I am Kala. I am the time factor. I have come here just to um, uh, destroy everything material. So, accept you 
Pandavas. I have killed all the soldiers on this battlefield of Kurukshetra. I have decided their death. You just have to fight and manifest their death. You act as my instrument. That's your job. Okay. So, if you carefully observe what is um, happening here, it is Krishna who execute, executed everything in the Kurukshetra war. Executed means he decided. He orchestrated. But execution is given to Arjuna. Arjuna is to execute my will. Act as my instrument. So, to keep Krishna in the center means to prioritize his will. What is Arjuna's thought process in the first chapter of Bhagavad Gita? Arjuna simply said that uh, I don't want to fight because I don't want a kingdom. And I don't want to see my own relatives die in my hands. Therefore, let me not fight Krishna. Uh, let me go to the forest or let me beg and live earn my livelihood. That was Arjuna's thought process. He did not keep Krishna in the center at that moment. But later after hearing Bhagavad Gita, Arjuna said, Yes, my dear Lord, Sthitosme Gatasandeha Karishye Vachanam Tava by hearing your instructions from the Bhagavad Gita, all my sandehas, sandeha means doubts are completely vanquished, confusions are completely destroyed. Karishye vachanam tava, I'll do whatever you say. I kept your instructions at the center of my life, I'll do whatever you say. He said, I'll fight. So initially he said, I will not fight. At the end of Bhagavad Gita, he said, I will fight. Why? Initially, he was thinking more in terms of uh, his own emotions and uh, uh, his own connection with relatives. He was thinking himself to be the well-wisher of all the uh, Kauravas there. But can anyone be a better well-wisher than Krishna? For any living being? Krishna is a supreme well-wisher. Krishna promised in Bhagavad Gita. Bhoktaram yajna tapasam sarva loka maheshwaram. Suhurdam sarva bhutanam natva maam shanti vrichati. I am the suhurda of all living beings. If I have orchestrated the death of some living beings, don't think that I am acting like an enemy. I am not like their shatru. I am still their suhurd only. Apparently Krishna acts like a shatru, but if you keenly observe, Krishna is only acting like a mitra, not shatru. A suhurd, a well-wisher, not an enemy. Right. So, the purpose of Krishna's appearance is paritrana yasadhunam vinashaya tadushtrutam dharma samsthapanarthaya sambhavam yuge yuge. So, uh, to protect the virtuous people and to punish vicious people and to establish dharma is the mission of Krishna in this world, isn't it? So, uh, Arjuna is supposed to act as a servant of Krishna, keeping in center Krishna's mission in this world and just assist Krishna in executing this mission of protecting the virtuous, punishing the vicious and establishing dharma. When Arjuna did not keep Krishna's mission as the center of his life, he was bewildered, he was confused in the first chapter of Bhagavad Gita. But by the last chapter of Bhagavad Gita, Arjuna came to this consciousness of keeping Krishna's mission as the center of his life. Then he became very blissful. He became very satisfied. All his confusions are gone. So this is the result of keeping Krishna in the center of our life. So, Maam Ekam Sharanam Raja means you just surrender to me, keep me as Eka, number one. Keep everything else as number two, number three, number four. Don't give me last seat. Give me first priority. I am Eka. I am number one. <laughs> Everyone else is number two, three, four, five, six, seven. Okay. So, like when we keep Krishna in the center, we will be empowered. When we prioritize Krishna's instructions and Krishna's teachings, Krishna will empower us to do unimaginable things in his service. Krishna empowered Arjuna to conquer our Bhishma, Drona and many such celebrated warriors in the Kurukshetra battle. Krishna empowered Bhima to kill all the hundred sons of Dhritarashtra. Krishna empowers a flute uh, with the power 
to mesmerize all the three worlds and Krishna plays it. All the flute is just a dry wood. Still, flute has the ability or the power to uh, captivate the hearts of all the living beings who are hearing Krishna's flute song. Although um, the rope that Mother Yashoda used to bind Krishna was very short and very feeble and very weak and uh, very, very simple. A simple household rope, not an iron chain. But still, that rope was empowered to uproot Yamalarjuna trees because the rope is empowered by Krishna and it is Krishna who is pulling that rope. Okay. So, Sukadeva Goswami spoke Srimad Bhagavatam and Krishna empowered Sukadeva Goswami to speak Srimad Bhagavatam, the essence of all scriptures. Uh, similarly, Krishna would empower so many uh, Acharyas to spread the path of Krishna consciousness, spread, to spread the spread the teachings of Bhagavatam because they keep Krishna as the center of their lives. So, uh, because Vrajavas has kept Krishna as the center of their lives, Krishna lifted Govardhan mountain and Krishna uh, simply protected all the Vrajavasis from the calamity of Indra's devastating rainfall. When Great devatas also, when they deviate from the thought of keeping Krishna in the center, they somehow bring themselves in the center of their lives. They become self-obsessed. They become proud. They become uh, deviated from Krishna consciousness. You know what happens? Krishna has to pull their ear and bring them back to the right consciousness. Brahma has stolen the cows and has stolen the calves and the Gopa boys, Krishna's friends. Krishna had to teach him a lesson and bring him back to right consciousness. Indra has created a devastating rainfall. He did not keep Krishna in the center, but he thought he is the center of Vrajavasis' lives. Unless he provides rain, Vrajavasis cannot survive. He was criticizing them, trying to kill them. But Krishna just brought uh, this Indra to the right consciousness by humbling him completely. Right? So, whenever these devatas act whimsically, or not only devatas, any living being, especially human beings, when they don't act uh, according to the instructions of Krishna, uh, and when they act whimsically, they neglect the uh, teachings of Krishna in the scriptures. Yaha shastra vidhi mutsrujya vartate kamakarataha Whoever keeps Shastra with his aside and they act whimsically, they don't get any Siddhi or happiness. They don't get perfection. They don't get happiness. Therefore, it is our duty to act according to the instructions of Krishna and not become deviated from the thought of Krishna. Uh, so, uh -huh. that is to keep Krishna in the center of their lives, to keep the whole process of bhakti as the center of our lives, to keep uh, saravanam, kirtanam, smaranam, padasevanam as the center of our lives. So when that is there, naturally we receive all protection and affection from Krishna. Krishna is always affectionate, even otherwise also. But still, mm. as servants of Krishna, we should consciously and voluntarily uh, keep Krishna's teachings as the center of our lives and that's what is the example of Prabhupada and many other great souls. Na uttama shloka varta naam dushatam tat tat hamritam syat sambhramonta kale pi smaratam tat padam bhujam Na uttama shloka varta naam those who completely dedicate themselves to the teachings of Krishna, topics of Krishna and service of Krishna throughout their lives they do not run into any bewilderments or confusions or misconceptions even at the time of death. They will be able to remember Krishna with clear consciousness. Right? So that is the nature of uh, Krishna consciousness. So you will be able to remember Krishna even at the time of death without any bewilderment when we dedicate our lives uh, to the service of Krishna and not deviate from the thought of Krishna. So, 
sometimes krishna gives us the powers to execute some services to krishna and he also gives us the opportunities and ability and eligibility to render service to krishna right so uh, when we are given that privilege and opportunity we are supposed to prioritize krishna's service and not uh, get uh, deviated sometimes uh, a devotee may be kept in a circumstance where he or she has to experience so many difficulties and reversals and calamities in life or they may have to act on behalf of an adharmic person ultimately establish dharma as service to krishna the best example is bhishma bhishma dev was a mahajan the best of all devotees okay but the service given to bhima bhishma was to fight on behalf of duryodhan against krishna and arjun and pandavas so bhishma is a devotee why is he uh, standing against krishna in the battlefield of kurukshetra why is he not fighting on behalf of pandavas why he has to fight on behalf of duryodhan yeah, that's the service given to bhishma bhishma is keeping krishna only in the center of his life although he is fighting against krishna and throwing arrows on krishna so throwing arrows on krishna is that keeping krishna in the center of life apparently it seems no but it is yes in the case of bhishma because krishna wanted to give this important message to everyone that uh, that uh, however powerful you may be however great you may be if you stand on the side of adharma and fight against dharma you will be defeated however per great personality you may be krishna wanted to give this lesson to the whole world and he made bhishma as an instrument in krishna's plan and bhishma said oh lord you want me to play this role i'll do it no problem let let people misunderstand me no problem let people think that i am acting adharmically even till date there are some people who uh, think bhishma did not do the right thing uh, bhishma just acted inappropriately people may think like that Uh, why did he not protect draupadi why did he fight against the pandavas why did he side duryodhan why did he side dhritarashtra people have hundred different questions about bhishma but bhishma is keeping krishna in the center of his life and is exactly acting according to krishna's will right krishna doesn't have an issue but many people have issue with <laughs> so when bhishma was departing from this world krishna personally came to give him darshan krishna announced how powerful and how knowledgeable and how wise bhishma was by making bhishma give the teachings on dharma to yudhishthir maharaj who is dharma raj right so to this degree krishna has given importance to bhishma and when bhishma was departing so many great personalities came from harshi raj arshi devarshi sanghai ವಿಶ್ವಾಮಿತ್ರ ಕೇಂ ಜಮದಗ್ನಿ ಕೇಂ ಪರಶುರಾಮ ಕೇಂ ಸುಖದೇವ ಗೋಸ್ವಾಮಿ ನಾರದ ಮುನಿ ಅಂಗೀರ ಕೃಷ್ಣ ಪರ್ಸನಲ್ಲಿ ಕೇಂ ವ್ಯಾಸದೇವ್ ಕೇಂ ಭೌಮ್ಯ ಕೇಂ ಸೋ ಮೆನಿ ಗ್ರೇಟ್ ಯೂನಿವರ್ಸಲ್ ಸೆಲೆಬ್ರಿಟೀಸ್ ಎಪಿಯರ್ಡ್ ಅಟ್ ದ ಟೈಮ್ ಆಫ್ ಭೀಷ್ಮ ಡಿಪಾರ್ಚರ್ ಇಫ್ ಭೀಷ್ಮ ಇಸ್ ಅ ವಿಲನ್ ಇಫ್ ಭೀಷ್ಮ ಇಸ್ ನಾಟ್ ಎ ಮಹಾಜನ್ ಇಫ್ ಭೀಷ್ಮ ರಿಯಲ್ಲಿ ಸೈಡೆಡ್ ದುರ್ಯೋಧನ್ ಅಟ್ ಹಾರ್ಟ್ ವೈ ವುಡ್ ಆಲ್ ದಿಸ್ ಗ್ರೇಟ್ ಪರ್ಸನಾಲಿಟೀಸ್ ಕಮ್ ಅಟ್ ದ ಟೈಮ್ ಆಫ್ ಭೀಷ್ಮ ಡಿಪಾರ್ಚರ್ why would krishna personally come and give his darshan and affection and give his blessings to bhishma because bhishma is a pure devotee although apparently bhishma is acting against krishna bhishma only kept krishna as a center of his life right and the highest example of keeping krishna in the center of uh, one's lives is seen in the life of rajavaisis and especially the gopis of vrindavan okay so whatever they are discussing whatever the gopis are discussing amongst themselves in their personal conversations private meetings is only uh, to uh, uh, serve krishna uh, is only about krishna's topics one gopi comes to another gopi and says krishna has stolen my butter krishna has broken my pots krishna 
uh, did this, Krishna did that. So they're constantly discussing about Krishna. Krishna is the center of their lives. When Krishna is happy, they become happy. If Krishna is not happy, is in some anxiety, or Krishna is attacked by some demon, the gopis become anxious, right? So they don't have any other pleasure in life other than Krishna's uh, pleasure, right? So when Krishna was attacked by Kaliya, all the gopis and the gopas and all the vrajavasis came running to the lake of Kaliya out of their concern for Krishna. Oh, what must have happened to Krishna? Why are we seeing so many dangerous comments here? So they were concerned about Krishna. So they are totally uh, anxious for the safety of Krishna. So when uh, Krishna played his flute, all the gopis left their activities in the middle and they ran towards Krishna. Okay. Pati Sutan Vayat Bratru Bandhava Ati Vilangate Yachutagata Gati Virastavo Gita Mohita Gita Vayoshita Tasya Jenishi Pati Sutta Bratru Bandhava These gopis have completely given up their uh, family members, brothers or sisters or husbands or uh, sons or Vedic customs or social regulations and uh, their womanly shy or whatever, they have kept everything aside and they ran towards Krishna in the middle of the night to serve him, to please him, to dance with him. Right? So Krishna is the center of the lives of the gopis. They don't know any other happiness. Krishna said in Bhagavad Gita about devotees in general, uh, not only the gopis, Aham bhakta paradhino hyasvatantra ivadvijaha sadhu bhirgrastha hardayo bhaktair bhakta janapriyaha I am completely surrendered to my devotees. I am under the control and captivity of my devotees. Bhakta paradhino asvatantra ivadvijaha There is no svatantrata. I don't have absolutely any independence. Sadhubir uh, grasta haradeva, my mind is completely captivated in the thoughts of my devotees and my devotees are always thinking about me. I know them and they know me. We don't know anyone else. We don't know anyone else other than each other. So this is the nature of Krishna. When you keep Krishna in the center of your lives, Krishna gives himself to you. And that's what he has done to the gopis. That's what he has done to Everybody. Okay. So, yet karoshi, yet ashnasi, yet juhoshi, dadasi, yet tapasasi kaunteya, tat kurushva madar panam. Whatever we do, whatever we say, whatever we think, let us do everything for Krishna's service. And that is the, uh, that is the essence of Krishna consciousness. Jihve kirtaya keshavam muraripum cheto bhaja shriharam Pani dvandva samarcha yachutakatha shrohot pradvayatvam shrunum Krishnam lokaya lochana dvaya harer gachangri yudmalayam Jighra ghranam kunda pada tulasim murdhanam adhokshajam Let us utilize our tongues. To glorify Krishna. Jihve kirtaya. Keshavam muraripum jeto bhaja shridharam. Let us utilize our minds to think of Krishna. Let us utilize our hands to serve Krishna. Legs to go to Krishna's temple. Eyes to see the beautiful form of Krishna. And uh, tongue to taste Krishna prasadam or glorify Krishna. Ears to hear about Krishna. So like that, if we utilize all our senses in Krishna consciousness, that is to keep Krishna in the center of our lives. Okay. Uh, several devotees said, Krishna, make me dance according to your will. Prabhupada said, Krishna, make me dance, make me dance. I don't know how did you and why did you bring me to this country. Uh, so my job is just to spread Krishna consciousness. You give me the necessary strength. So Prabhupada was praying. Krishna, Vasanam Tava. I will do, I will act according to your instructions, Krishna. Uh, so please give me the necessary strength to do so. 
So in this way, if we mold our lives with, uh, in accordance with uh, Krishna's teachings, then naturally Krishna will give all love and protection to all of us. So this is what a life of Krishna consciousness means to keep Krishna in the center. Thank you very much. Granthara Srimad Bhagavatam ki jai, Srila Prabhupada ki jai. Hare Krishna, Your Grace. Thank you so much for the beautiful discourse today on uh, how to keep Krishna in the center. Uh, thank you once again. Now, Prabhu, we will take one or two questions. So, Prabhu and Martin, yes, if you have any questions, you can leave it in the chat box or you can unmute and ask your question. I received a few questions, Prabhu. Just allow me to uh, share it. Okay, I've done it, Prabhu. I have another question from another devotee. So the first one, Ari Krishna Prabhu Dandavat, what is it means to keep Krishna in the center? Is it uh, carrying out the... I will say a few things after, oh. after, after Prabhu leaves. Can I? Can Prabhu, sure. Hare Krishna. Okay, Prabhu. Just let me read the question. What does it mean keeping Krishna in the center? Is it carrying out the plans of the Lord? If yes, then how do we know the plans of the Lord? Yes, from a devotee, from Guru. The question has the answer. We will understand what Krishna wants us to do by hearing from a devotee. Of course, you can read Bhagavad Gita. What Krishna wants us to do is very clearly mentioned there. What does Krishna want? Manmana bhava madbhakto madhya jima namaskuru. Krishna said, you worship me, you offer obeisances to me, uh, you become my devotee. Uh, and Krishna also said, ananya sintayam toma medhanaha paripasate. Krishna said, you worship me without any deviation in, the, in your mind. And at the end, Krishna also said, sarvadharman parityajyam amekam sharanam raja. You surrender unto me. Take my shelter. So what Krishna wants us to do, what is Krishna's expectation from us is very clearly mentioned in Bhagavad Gita. And it's more like principle-based instruction. But as far as details are concerned, yes, we can always contact devotees of Krishna. Guru, who is a representative of Krishna. Guru teaches us what exactly uh, Krishna expects us to do. Right? So, the service that we render to Guru, a bona fide spiritual master, is actually service to Krishna. Okay. We serve Krishna through Guru. So, we understand Krishna's will for us. Uh, we understand how to serve and please Krishna by following the instructions of Guru. Yasya prasada, Bhagavat prasada. Okay. In a generic sense, all the principles of pleasing Krishna are mentioned by Krishna himself in Bhagavad Gita. And to get into more details and deeper uh, uh, practical uh, services, what we are supposed to do, we should approach a guru, one of our guru. Thanks, Prabhu. Second question is, Arishna Prabhuji, keeping Krishna in the center, modern technology seems to be very distractive for the above purpose. Your views, Prabhu, Madhivati. I didn't get modern technology. Yeah, uh, I, I think this is what it means. Like modern technology is um, very destructive to keep Krishna in the center. So I think the question is, how do we um, overcome this? We should keep technology as much as it is required for Krishna's service. We can utilize technology. We are using Zoom now. All of you are sitting in front of laptops or in, or in front of your mobile phones and we are using this Wi-Fi. Uh, this technology is required uh, to practice bhakti. Not required, it can be utilized to practice bhakti. Right? We can use, we can engage technology in Krishna's service, uh, but uh, it's not necessary that we Overly use the technology beyond the necessity to approach towards Krishna. That becomes distraction. So use it as much as it is required. And uh, 
don't over indulge in it don't get distracted by it for that we may need some guidance sometimes it's so te- te- tempting to use technology although it is not necessary we should distinguish between what is necessity and what is uh, uh, luxury right what is unnecessary that requires guidance thank you so much your grace i don't think we have any other questions in the chat box so i think that's all for today your grace thank you so much once again for the wonderful class and on behalf of the uh, academy we would like to thank you so much your grace for your time and for your association thank you okay thank bro see so, yeah, we are just going to have an internal um, announcement thank sure. you are you now vision bro let me just stop the recording